welcome back to mobile electronic diagnostic and uh, best car fixes uh, today we are talking about something a little bit different which is airbag service airbag stall in the car uh, or airbag system they put they put it in the car manufacturers 95 percent of the new cars or I don't believe there is no car that right now on the road with no airbag safety issue and it saves a lot of people life injuries and safety same as like a seat belt it works together with the seat belt to hold the customer on the seat so you will not be as uh, like a loose object when when there is a severe hit or you lose your memory or capability to stand like sometimes if the car is upside down you know like if you don't have a seat belt on you you can be thrown away of the car also if the shock is so severe also sometimes the airbag will is an airbag it will be like a cushion from to hit your head in front of the steering column or in the side from the glasses not to shatter like a curtain airbags what is the airbag how does it work there is a computer somewhere and that computer sitting in the car and calculating all the signals that's coming from outside of the car and based on the signal how severe it is it will deploy the airbag which means it inject some kind of uh, it sends some kind of signal to deploy kind of um, a, a, a pipe that it has gas in it that it will fill out the airbag the airbag will come out and become like a cushion when that happened the airbag control module will not work again the computer that work it work only one time some cars like some uh, european car the airbag can work two three times but on some cars no how it look like the airbag the module control module it look like something like this we have an example of one piece that is supposed to be here i open it from inside is a computer with motherboard with motherboard with um, uh, processors and input and output numbers are different from one to another like this one here it is for nissan pathfinder 2019 some of the cars like maxima some ultima 2015 16 17 you can just use the obd2 go to the car plug it in and use certain um, uh, data or computer programmer to delete the crash data you don't need to take this piece out some car they have small chips those chips are small as like something like this and they have numbers each one have its own numbers inside you're gonna put it in you read the information and within the within inside there you will get uh, Hold on, please. Okay, the, the phone, the phone, uh, uh, a phone call disturbed me a little bit. So, generally, uh, that chip that I just show you, this one here, contain the information, the data, and the, it look like even the functionality, some of the functionality of the of the tracking. You know, like how does it work? If an accident happened, this chip here, you see. Um, will will record all the, the 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 information or the crash data. You can say just like a black box in the airplane. They call it the black box, and this is also a similar to that. The crash data in this whatever happened, it will store in a chip that is here. I took it out because we need to read it, and then we need to delete that information that uh, inside the the crash data chip or airbag. There is a lot of tools that you can use. This is called CarPro. It has a lot of functionality. Read the chip, delete it. Sometime you don't need to take it out from the car. You leave it in the car. And I have a lot of connectors because I use more than one tool to read those chips. Even AutoHex, HexPro, they have also a computer, I mean a, a chip programmer or reader. But I didn't get a chance to get that pin chipped exactly this chip have a different number it have like something like 618 or some different number the chip is here but 
equivalence to that one I'm using 95-128 for this particular you read it if you can delete it by if you know about binary code and you have a good data you compare it and then you read it together it will be very very helpful as I told you I'm using you can use any chip reader to read and then to delete the, the crash data now I'm going to show you how you're going to read it and then I will compare the, the the good data and the bad data how to take it out I use my uh, uh, that machine there it produce warm air and then I'm going to put it here it will become hot and I use this pick this thing here to hold the chip like this I'll give you an example and then when it's become hot you just pick it up sometimes the manufacturer put glue on the bottom they don't want you to fix it so by the time you take it out you're going to destroy the the circuit so be careful when you move it uh, now i already take this chip from here i put it into this clamp here you can put the clamp directly but it's not sometimes it will not read okay so i put it there sometimes there is other clamps like this you see and some people they solder it they solder the chip back into a special circuit board so that the reading there is no glitch i'm going to use i use car pro i did one i'm going to use um car pro and i also use um what they call this one here they call it also like one is car pro and let me see what is that car pro and multi pro and hexapro you know people use their their tools and they give different name it's okay as long as they give you the information and the work so what i'm going to go i will go to car pro double click i'm going to open this one it have to have a subscription i just updated it maybe like 500 dollar and it it does a lot of jobs but not all the, the tool can do the same the job that you want i'm going to double click faster to open this is here you see i open it now it's come on i already took this one out i place it in here again and now i'm going to wait to open it Sometimes it takes time. I just hit it two times. Double click faster. It's connected. Yes. Be patient. gonna pop up soon I tried one more yes hopefully it's not gonna pop up a couple of time I will agree on this if you don't agree it will not open you see you see now it pop up again because it takes some time before it's come. I don't know, maybe my computer. If it pop up again also, I will accept it. So now you see your car pro uh, device serial number is there. If you need to add another uh, functions, you can buy it because it have a lot of functions and you add it to it. I will go to, to APROM. I will go to, oh, it come back again. This is also one because I know I click it a lot. You go to Aprom and click on 93C. You know, I did a lot. I, I go to 93C, double click, and now it will open. Be careful and wait a little bit. Now, here, go to this place. 
okay here look for 90 no okay 95 x and now 95 128 118 here is this here no this one hopefully it's clear okay after that read verify and now I'm gonna click okay now everything is connected to this if I need to use this one I use I will use another platform and go I will connect where exactly another connector it is not connector here I will connect this and if I need to use another also I will use this one there's a lot so take your time now I'm gonna go here now just go to read you see here click on read now I'm going to read it now. Beautiful. And now it's verifying too. You see all this crash? Beautiful. Verification okay. He read everything good. I will say okay. Okay, I will close this one maybe. We just leave it there. I don't know why he come here. If you look at this data, I don't know where is the cross data is located, but you can uh, if you scroll down you can even see the the part number is here too. Sometimes even the VIN number. You see here is the VIN number. This small chip have a lot of information. All this information. I already saved it. I'm not going to save this one. But I'm going to go back and uh, load something. And what you want to load, I will, this from the desktop. Because I, I kept it in the desktop. So go look for the desktop and I will write down the part number that I have it here. 988 20 9 You see here? I already cleaned the pin. So the bottom one was not good. But the top one is good one. So I'm going to put this one here and I will open it. It will open, it will change whatever there. It changed. Now this is a good dump. What you need to do, go out there and write it. That's the writing. Do you want to write? Say yes. Now I'm writing it. And this chip using this machine verifying please wait verification okay thank you very much now I am good in the next video, I will try to solder this back. Now, this chip here, I don't need it to be here. This is a chip. And I will show you that it has some numbers. And I have a ground. You see this dot? That's the ground. But the chip on this computer here, look at these two towers, these capacitors, is located here. And I put a small pen. That means the ground is going to be here. Now I'm going to use this. And I will put some 
kind of uh, you know this one here it is good for soldering you have to have it I will hold it and I will maybe solder it by by using the pen or the air whatever it is is easy if you can use the pen use the pen or you want to use the air also you can use the air thank you for watching mobile electronic diagnostic please subscribe share and like and see you in another video this is Muhammad Harun Idris.